what's going on welcome back to the turner fishing i'm steven turner here with another tip video um we're doing this little tip video series you know i'm gonna be recording a bunch of these putting them out a lot of secrets a lot of hacks a lot of stuff that i do on the water that i don't know that it's not a common thing and i'm trying to break it down for you guys at home so if you're enjoying all these tip videos make sure you subscribe down below buy some jigs at crappy man jigs dot com become a member down below that's one of the easiest ways to support the channel so we're going to dive right into this we're going to grab a jig head and look guys before i explain how to do this i want to kind of emphasize why this works on the days that it works now originally if you have a bait say let me grab one ba, ba, ba. so originally if you have like a little minnow i mean that tail's got a little bit of action you know but mainly what you know i make are finesse jigs you know everybody can use them you can get out there and catch fish with little to no effort so what I'm going to show you today is something I've been doing for a couple months now that I, I just I don't talk about because I didn't know it was making as much of a difference as it's doing. Now, originally when you throw this little minnow, it's going to come through the water column and it's going to look kind of like that. You know, the tail is going to move, you pop it up, that tail is going to pop with it. So what I have actually been doing is, say this is a 164 ounce jig head with a crappy man green little minnow on it. You can't beat that. I mean, if they, if they don't bite this, they ain't gonna bite nothing. But how do you make it better? Now in the last video, we talked about making a hook slot in the bag, it's the same jig, and super gluing it to the head. Now, in order to do this, you cannot super glue the bait to the head because it's going to defeat the purpose. So I like doing this with a bigger jig head though. Now, if you've ever ordered jig heads from me, you'll notice that a lot of my jig heads actually wobble. Like, you could just see the slight wobble and, and like I said in the last video I do have a lot of oil in my hands a lot of truck issues right now anyways but you can see it's got this the slightest little wobble now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab our pliers which aren't here they're in the truck okay you're so prepared for a video Steven <laughs> uh, we probably just do it with our hands all right so what we're gonna do you know on round head jig, jig heads I haven't tried this on the wedge style or the peel heads or whatever but on a round head you can actually take a pair of pliers and you want to break the connection between that lead and your hook you just want to move it back and forth until it starts wiggling really good you can almost do a 360 on this jig head so kind of like this you see I'm able to move that jig head now what this is going to do in the water let me grab a jig jig a jig is you're going to thread this on like normal you're not doing nothing special but what this actually does now if you're just doing a horizontal you know jigging over a brush pile you're not really moving too much this don't really apply but if you're actually casting beside docks casting over brush piles casting around bridge pylons i believe honestly this makes a real difference between getting a bite and not getting a bite because once you get this jig head to start moving as it's going through the water column the water is going to come past this jig head and it's going to move it to the left and then it's going to rock back to the right and not only does that make a little bit of a clicking sound like 
it like you can put it up to your ear and kind of hear it but it's a very subtle click but that's not what you're after what this is going to do is going to make the back of that bait actually flutter it's going to rock side to side not that much you, it's kind of hard to explain but it's going to have a slight rock to it maybe just a half a centimeter or whatever but when those fish are really picky you know that that slight little rock really can fire those fish up make them chase your bait further and actually commit on the days that they're not committing <clears throat> if you take like a bass swim jig you know it's a like a spinner bait but without you know the spinners and all that if you're not familiar with bass fishing it's just a big bulky skirt on a big hook with a wire keeper now originally i learned this from that swim uh swim jig if you actually rip that wire keeper out and cut that skirt up right behind the hook and actually use it without a trailer you can catch really big bass with that trailer just pulsing and what it's doing it's doing that little side to side so i brought that to crappy fishing by undoing the lead on the head to make it rock now a lot of my jigs come that way you might not notice it if you've never actually taken the time to do that a lot of the jig heads come that way now if you do this and say you don't like it or you think it messed your jig up all you got to do is take a pair of pliers and squeeze on that head just a little bit and it's right back to, to the way it was but go out there guys if you're struggling to get a bite and you know you're around fish Take and make that jig head move a little bit and wind it as slow as you can to keep it above those fish. And I can guarantee you're going to get a lot more bites. Oh, I'm giving away all the secrets in this video secret. Uh, I'm giving away all the secrets in this video series, guys. So please stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Hop down below, become a member. You know, all this ain't free. Well, the videos are free but doing all this you know it is what it is but i hope you enjoyed got a lot more of these coming we're going to be pumping these babies out this summer i'm gonna learn you everything and if i ever get that garmin that can record my screen i'm gonna do the same thing with live scope you're gonna know everything that's in my head and that's what this channel is about let's blow this sucker up share this video like the video comment down below and I'll see y'all on the next one. Yee yee!